Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Taihutu. In today's video, of course, bombing you with a really cool Bitcoin jar that will show you where we are heading in Bitcoin. Also taking a look at the Bam Bam indicator and the TikTok indicator. And of course, talking about the news that I read this morning during a delicious cup of coffee. And this morning is early because now it's 7 o'clock in the morning here in Lagos, Portugal. Yes, you might recognize me for the newcomers again. I am the guy that four years ago sold literally everything he owned. His house, his companies, his cars, his bikes, the kids toys, the wife's shoes. And we went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world walking to the beach to enjoy the beautiful views of the sea. Of course, talking about the Swiss crypto broker AG company that now has a license to trade cryptocurrency officially for the banks and other institutional investors. Of course, a little bit about the Bitcoin subreddit and the Wall Street bet story about India, about Elon Musk and about much more. So please watch the complete video. Enjoy it till the end, guys. Bam! But first things first, let's start this morning with taking a look at the Bitcoin information and charts in the Bitcoin TA part in this part. Bam! First chart, guys. This chart is showing you the returns on investment of Bitcoin in the last couple of years every month. Really cool chart because you can see exactly which months were mostly like negative months, which months were positive months, and you can also see the difference between the negative and the positive months. Take a look at this chart. Bam! So you can see the monthly returns for Bitcoin from 2010 to 2020. It is a really cool chart with cool numbers. Like you can see in the last 10 years, February was a negative month in three of the 10 years. March was a negative month in seven of the 10 years. April was a negative month only once in the last 10 years. May and June, both of them were negative only three times in those last 10 years. July was only negative four times in the last 10 years. And then August and September, they were negative months seven times of the last 10 years. October then was four times negative in the last 10 years. November was three times negative of the last 10 years. And December was four times negative of the last 10 years. So what are these numbers telling you? I am arriving at a virgin beach, guys. This is a real virgin beach, like no footsteps completely my own beach nobody here so what are these numbers telling you can we assume that february has a 30 percent chance of being negative and can we assume that march has a 70 percent of being negative and april only a 10 percent of being negative because it's calculated on 10 years i think that these numbers are very important to take a look at because that would mean that February still could be a really bullish month and we will be going up in February. It would be probably a green month. But then March would probably be a bearish month because that month, 7 of the 10 times, was a red month. Not hugely red, but it was red. So I always have these pictures in the back of my mind when I analyze the charts like in the weekly or in the monthly perspective. Really cool charts. Bam! But Didi, that is not what we want to see. We want to see what is going to happen to Bitcoin. So let's take a look at the real Bitcoin charts. Let's start with a four hour chart. This one. Bam! On this four hour chart that I already shared a few times with you guys, you can still see that flag pattern. And we can still see that we broke out of this flag and that we are now retesting the top line of this flag. Yes, normally you retest it a little bit shorter and then you go up. But now we are still staying above the top line of this flag line and also above this green area of support. So I think we are going a little bit sideways here to show, yes, this is the new area of support. 
this 33, 34,000 US dollar, and from there again build a new structure to the upside. In my opinion, yes, with all the positive news that I've been reading and with all the institutional investors getting into this market, in my opinion, we are going to see 40K very soon again. Of course, be aware there is always this option that we break the 30K support level with a huge candle and that we could fall back to 29K, maybe even to 25, 24K, like a lot of people are expecting. But I do think that the 29, 30K level of support is a huge level of support. There are too many Bitcoin bought in that area and I don't think those people are going or willing to sell. So I think if we wake down, it would be a wake to 29K, but we would still stay above 30K. And yes, I believe truly that, we, that the chance is bigger that we are moving upwards to 40K or even 50K than that we are moving towards 20K. But that's just my personal opinion, not a financial advisor, not a very smart dude. <laughs> just a little bit of experience in the crypto market and yes daily busy with the crypto market but then again I don't have a glass bowl. Bam! Let's zoom a little bit out. Let's zoom big time. Let's first zoom out to the monthly chart. On this monthly chart because we have talking about that one as well a few times this chart bam you can see that we didn't close the month January with a gravestone doji because that is what we talked about a week ago if we would close this month with a gravestone doji, that would be very negative for the long-term trend. That could be a trend reversal. We didn't close with a gravestone doji, like you can see, and we beautifully opened a new greenish candle on the January's close. And now hopefully this next month will be a green candle to the upside and not turn into a gravestone doji again. But we keep you up to date on this at the end of this month again. Bam. Also the weekly chart, we talked about that one a lot of times. This chart, bam, you can see on this weekly chart. And also there it seems very positive. Beautiful close of the week. Beautiful, beautiful open of the new week. The NVT, which is on the bottom of the chart, this red area, this red line. When the NVT turns from red to another beautiful color, like one of these on my shirt, but probably on the chart to a gray color. That is an indication that the market is turning around on the weekly perspective so that we could see a bearish week instead of a bullish week. We didn't turn around, it's still red, so still bullish. Bam! And then take a look at this chart. This is also the weekly chart, but this is the chart I showed you many times before what would happen if we would repeat 2013 or 2017's bull run. That is this chart. Bam! On this chart you can see that we are still following the path that we saw in 2017. Yes? The first time we touched this midline, that was the first time. And then we kept fighting this midline a couple of weeks, which meant we didn't break it. Then we pulled back to the 21 MA. If we would pull back to the 21 MA now, yes, that one is around 21, 22 K. But I don't think that is going to happen, like I said. But if we would repeat 2017, we would be pulling back to the 21 MA this week or the next week because like you can see on the chart we are still moving in these blue candles these are copied from the 2017 bull run and pasted on the first candle that touched the midline then it could mean that we are still on track yes we could be a little bit volatile but we are still on track if we would copy 2013 guys that would mean we would fall back to the 21 ma go sideways for a couple of months in 2013 we went sideways i think from june to october so that could be like sideways for five months before then bam we go up again and try to reach 50k 100k 200k in the end of this year so yes both scenarios are possible and of course the third scenario is that we will do a complete different one and that will be, be in between of these two runs because like we could see on the chart we are just moving in between the 2013-14 and the 2016-17 run so that one is up that one is there and we are now exactly in the middle so probably we will also be in the middle of reaching this new all-time high probably it won't be december probably it will be october or something but let's see we will keep updating you on these charts because that is how you stay up to date at the bitcoin family youtube channel about what is going to happen to bitcoin 
Bam! And talking about Plan B, Plan B just updated this chart as well. Of course, every month we get a new update. This is the updated Plan B chart. Bam! 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 bam. <laughs> yeah, on this Plan B chart, you can see we created a new dot. This new dot is not completely red anymore. This is like red orangish. And, that is, and this means we are now evolving into phase 5, like Plan B is stating. And phase 5 is the phase where we will go in this US acceleration. And like you can see, this orange dot, red orange dot, is the first one of the cycle. If you look to the left on the chart, you can see what happened after that dot in the 2017 bull run. And that is what we expect to happen now again with a huge acceleration all the way up to 100k following the stock to flow model of plan b bam talking about plan b and plan bam and bamming all the time let's take a look at the bam bam indicator and the tiktok chart today i will show you the difference between the tiktok and the bam indicator just to show you what the difference would be in trading take a look at this chart bam on this chart guys we traded with 200 us dollar and i want to show you on this chart this is the tiktok chart you can see this on these beautiful colors in the candles and you can see this in the bottom you can see this beautiful voice talking to you and you can see the red and the green dots and this blue band in this chart guys you can see that if we would have traded the tiktok signals with $200, the first trade would have been a short, turning the $200 into $208, and the second trade would have been a long, turning the $208 into $212. US dollars. That is with spot trading, so no leverage involved, just buy, sell, buy, sell, nothing else. You don't have the risk that you lose your bitcoins, because if the market would move the other side, there is not a leverage. So there is not a stop out, there is nothing. You always keep your Bitcoins. You buy them and you hold them. Yes, your Bitcoins can drop in value or increase in value, but you can't lose them because you are not using leverage. The difference now is, if you would have traded these two signals with leverage, let's say like with a leverage of 10, then in the first short, the $200 would have turned into 280 US dollar and the long would have turned those 280 US dollar into 330 us dollar so if you would have leverage traded it would have been a bigger profit but i need to be completely honest to you guys because if we would have leverage traded these trades we used we would have used the bam bam indicator signals and then we would have a different result because the tiktok and the bam bam are programmed in different ways the tiktok is programmed to be a spot trader it can be a little bit more risky because we won't be stopped out just compare it with this two different types of people on the beach like i like i message also in the discord group one beach dude is the one in the hammock just chilling out relaxing buying a bitcoin not freaking or stressing out because his trade can't be stopped out he will always have a bitcoin which could be a less value this one is a tiktok trader then on the other side i will turn the screen and then on the other side we have this very active, active beach dude. He's surfing, he's kite surfing, he's running, he's playing volleyball, he's completely active all the time. That guy is the bam bam indicator dude. He wants to make profit all the time. Bam, bam, bam. He's also very active, involved, very active, not lazy in the hammock. That one is the bam bam indicator type. So if we compare those two on these charts, you can see that the bam bam indicator would have made more profit, but he would have been working way more time as well. And if we really are really honest, then we would not have traded these two signals the way we traded the TikTok because they are programmed differently. We would have traded the Bam Bam chart like this. Bam! On the Bam Bam chart, if you would have traded with $200 and the leverage of 10, you can see, yes, we would have taken this first short a little bit later because we are waiting for the triple confirmation, closing below the yellow stepping line. Yes, we would want to see the Bam Bam crossing the white and the red line. And yes, we want to see the green going into the yellow of the beach or even the blue of the sea. So we would have taken this short later, which would have resulted in less profit. So the first short would be a 2.7%, so times 10 of the leverage of them, a 27% profit, which would have turned the $200 into $250. US dollar. The second trade, the long, we would have taken the long later again, less risky, 
triple confirmation. And yes, this would only be a 1% time stand, 10% profit. So 250 would have turned into 280 US dollar. It is still more profit than with the TikTok indicator, but because we play it safe by using the triple confirmation, it is less than we have traded on the TikTok signals, because that would have involved into 338 US dollar. Now we only have 280 US dollar, and the TikTok swing trader would have made 212 US dollar. I hope this is now a little bit clear what the difference is between TikTok and the BAM indicator. It's just a difference between a very active beach dude that wants to be active all the time, bam, 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 trading, watching the charts, or me, a lazy dude that wants to be on the beach in a hammock, zipping a Bugatti go, not freaking out because he always has in his back mind, it doesn't matter if you go up or down, I will always huddle my Bitcoin. And yes, the swings can increase my Bitcoin portfolio bit by bit. That is how I see the difference and hopefully you understand the difference a little bit better now as well. Bam, tick, tock, bam. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Bam, tick, tock, bam. That's not like a magician. Harry Potter. <laughs> yes, I turned around because I'm walking back again and that is the exact moment that we are going to jump into the next part of the video because that were enough charts that were like bombing with charts. Now let's jump into the part where I talk to you about the blockchain news that I read this morning during my delicious cup of coffee. Only one because I want to make this video early. Apologies, by the way, for not producing a video yesterday. But yesterday I had two podcasts, an interview and a lot of work online because of the TikTok indicator going live. The TikTok indicator, if you want to have it, by the way, please visit our Discord server where you can sign up to the TikTok indicator or just click the link down below the video uh, and you will go to the sign up form for the TikTok. Yes, the price of the TikTok indicator is 0.03 Bitcoin until the 7th of February you will be receiving an extra gift worth 0.01 Bitcoin, which is the automated signals from the TikTok indicator to your Discord, to your Telegram, to your email or to your telephone. So yes, normally you pay 0.04 Bitcoin for this package, but now because of the opening, we will give you the whole package for 0.03 Bitcoin. So make sure if you want to sign up to the TikTok, you do it this week. Uh, I'm creating FOMO. Yes, I'm pushing it in your throat. No, I am not. I'm just saving you money. And uh, again, I don't care. Even if you just fill the form now, probably I will be that relaxed TikTok dude that if you buy it, then later on, I would still give you this opening offer. Also, guys, to the people that are providing liquidity, it was a little bit busy. I am doing all the calculations and we will pay you the rewards for providing liquidity on January. But we will pay you these rewards this first week. It can be a little bit to the end of this week, but don't worry, you will be paid. And yes, we will calculate those again if you will keep it as liquidity for the month of February as well. So no worries. It's just a little bit busy. A lot of work at the moment. But let's talk about the news. There was a company that is called Swiss Crypto Broker AG, which is a Swiss company. And that was now given a license by the FINMA, which is the top financial regulating company in Switzerland. And they gave the Crypto Broker AG the license to officially now trade cryptocurrencies for, for institutional investors, retail investors, even for banks. They can now be a custody service and the trading service. Yeah, I think the security house license from the FINMA is a big deal because Switzerland is mostly leading in this adoption in the financial sectors. And this is the first crypto broker, AG, that now gets this license that normally only banks will receive. So this is big because if Switzerland is leading, probably more and more countries will follow the example that Switzerland is giving in the financial industry. So really cool news, I think. Congratulations to Crypto Broker AG in der Schweiz. Ich gratuliere euch. Bam! Let's talk surely about the subreddit part and the GameStop move. Yes, a little bit late, Didi, but I didn't have time yesterday. But there were now 2 million subscribers to the subreddit of Wall Street Bets. I think even 2.1 million subscribers. This is huge. This means that maybe 2.1 million people will be trading all these signals of the Wall Street banks. So we will see a little bit more short or long squeezes in the future. GameStop, of course, was the first. 
I, I said already in the tweet, yeah, I'm going to bed. I love what GameStop is doing because it's showing that the markets are not only being manipulated in the crypto scene. The official markets on all these exchanges, brokers, and all these official exchanges, KYC regulated exchanges, is being man manipulated big time as well. And now, in Dutch we say, hebben ze een koekje van eigen deeg gekregen, which means they kick their own ass, which means now they saw that if we go and involve in this industry as well as a huge community, probably backed up, in my opinion, by some investors that have a lot of money. It's not only the subreddit investors, in my opinion, but so that's my personal opinion. I think there is somebody behind it with a little bit more cash on table. But we showed as a community that we can also play this game and also manipulate the market the other way so these hedge funds will lose. I hope this hedge fund realizes now and I hope all this SEC and all these regulating companies in the United States now see that it's not only the crypto scene where manipulation takes place. It is also the normal scene and it is also illegal what they are doing and that's why I don't think that there will be any lawsuit to the Reddit users because they are just reading a forum and trading because they read something on the forum. That's the same thing, that's the same thing that all these hedge fund managers are doing, probably reading their newspaper or their mailing and like deciding, ah, let's this year, let's this week um, short GameStop collectively because then we will be making money collectively. So yeah, I think it's a very honest game that both parties are playing. But now this time, finally, the subreddit, the normal dudes, the David versus the Goliath won the game. And so I think now all these huge hedge funds don't start to cry immediately. You have been playing this game and who passes the ball can expect this ball back. And sometimes when you expect this ball back, it will be BAM! Right in your face. <laughs> it's just very cool to see how it's all playing out. And it, But it could be the beginning of the revolution of the whole monetary system based on exchanges and trading uh, in the whole world. So let's see how this will evolve. Are they going to squeeze silver? Are they going to push Dogecoin? Are they going to push Bitcoin? I don't know. I think nobody knows, but let's see how it will evolve. Really cool to uh, pay attention to. Bam! Oh yeah, by the way, the hedge fund that was behind, you know, the short, the GameStop short, <laughs> they closed the January month with a loss of 53%. So they lost 53%. I think their hedge fund went from 12 billion to only 8 billion. So there is no reason for them to cry because they still have 8 billion left. But the subredditors have now 4 billion more to do the next squeeze. Really cool, really cool. <laughs> it is exciting. It's like watching a football match. Who is going to win? <laughs> or will it be a tie? Or will it be canceled because lightning will come and strike the players on the field? Bam! The next news I read is about India. Again, India. Again, India, a proposal to ban cryptocurrencies. Come on, come on, India. I don't expect this from a country like you. All the world is positive about cryptocurrency, at least about Bitcoin and about blockchain. All the world is looking into regulations and KYC, but in a positive way not to destroy this industry, but to build a safer industry in their opinion. Why would you now try to ban that thing that all the world is already accepting? It is just strange. So I started to dig deeper into it and I found that it's not really that they want to ban cryptocurrency, but they want to have a tool to get rid of all the scams in India. And I agree with that, but banning cryptocurrency is not the solution. I think you need to have watchdogs that will see those scams and that will go after these scams and use these watchdogs that are now watching traffic lights because somebody is surpassing an orange light or because somebody is parked in the wrong way so we need to punish him. Maybe should, you should re-educate these watchdogs into watchdogs for this online scamming business because that one is way bigger than people um, making small mistakes on street that you can find 50 to 100 us dollar at least in the, in, the, in the netherlands so india i don't think they are going to ban it i am they, i think they just want to show we are attacking the scams in india Bam. and yes of course the most positive news of yesterday was 
Elon Musk loves Bitcoin. Yes, Elon Musk admitted that he owns Bitcoin. He admitted that he really likes Bitcoin. He also admitted that Doge was not like really a thing for him. That was just a meme coin. And he loves to play around with tweets and to push the community and everything and to play around. But Bitcoin is the thing that he has believing in for a long time because a lot of his billionaire friends already told him get into Bitcoin. So yes, I do think Elon is making the first step, but he already made that step before. So I think he already bought Bitcoin. And of course, now he's going to help all the other ones, Michael Saylor and all the other billionaire, Paul Tudor. I don't know all the names because I'm not a billionaire. I'm not in the same circles, but they who live in those same circles, of course, they will help each other now. And they will convince all these other billionaires in the first week of February. Yes, you should use the micro strategy playbook to start to protect your capital by buying a little bit more Bitcoin, by diversifying your reserve capital also into Bitcoin. Let's say it like that. And Elon Musk is now very positive on Bitcoin, which I like because Elon Musk, you know, is one of the people that has 44 million followers on social media. So he has a reach. But on the other end, Elon Musk was also very positive about the vaccinations. And that part of the interview, ha, I liked a little bit less because I am not a supporter of the vaccinations, but I respect everybody who is. My family and me will probably don't do the vaccination because, you know, I think we already had the flu somewhere in Thailand. And yeah, yeah, we had a headache and we had a nose, a walking nose, we called it Holland, running nose, we called it Holland. And yeah, we were off for a couple of days, but that was it for us. And I don't think we need to be vaccinated for this. So let's see how this will evolve. But not talking negative about the vaccinations anymore because everybody started yelling again. You anti-COVID, you are a conspiracy theorist, blah, blah, blah. I am neither of those guys. I am just a guy that is being realistic, looking at the numbers, adding all those numbers up, and I'm seeing that something doesn't add up. Nothing else. I am not thinking that aliens will come and that we need to be protected to aliens because of the vaccine. I don't think they want to kill us because of the vaccine. But we as a family have always been the same mindset of not doing vaccinations that are not needed. In Holland, for example, they did a vaccinations to kids, women, young kids of like 12 or 13 years old um, that against some kind of cancer in the down there somewhere. I don't even know how you call it in English. Um, we didn't do that vaccination for the kids as well because we thought that the, the chance of getting that disease was so small and that the vac vaccination was useless. And at the end, we saw that a lot of kids in the Netherlands became sick because of that vaccination. And that is why we decide to be very careful with those vaccinations. We are not against it, but we also just want to have the own choice if we want to take them or not. Um, no, I need to end it positive. So Bitcoin is going to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> that was a positive end. It may be too positive at the moment. Uh, but that was the video for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video. Um, I want to thank you for watching the video. If you really enjoyed the video, please give the video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell, the ping thing, and leave a comment. Because I love to respond to your comments. Thanks for watching. Always remember to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again from a beautiful location somewhere else here in Portugal. Bam!